Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. Tonight I have a fun little seed project to share with you. I had recently purchased this packet of um, apricot blush zinnias and I had tried to grow these last year and I didn't get any of them to sprout. This year I thought I would try them again and try something a little different. I'm also um, doing the same process um, that I'm going to share with you with the Queen Lime Red and the Queen Lime Orange Zinnias. These seeds are quite expensive, and so I didn't want to just throw them in the ground and hope for the best. I wanted to actually make sure that I got some viable seeds. And so let me go ahead and show you what I've done. And so what I've done is I've actually taken the seeds, and I didn't do all of them because I wanted to just do a portion of them to make sure this was working. Um, I've taken a portion of the seeds and on this paper or on uh, this uh, plastic plate, I laid a damp paper towel and then I laid the seeds on top of that. And then on top of the seeds, I laid another damp paper towel. And uh, looks like there may be one there that might be starting to sprout. You can see that little white speck in there. Um, so we're making a little bit of progress there. So these are the Queen uh, Lime Orange. So I'm going to put this one back in its little greenhouse here and put it in a warm spot again. And hopefully those seeds will uh, perk up a little bit. This um, plate is the Queen Lime Red seed, I believe. Yes, Queen Lime Red. So let's take a look at these. So quite a few of the little seeds have started to sprout. There's one there and one here and here, and there, there. There's one here and here. So a few more of the red ones have started. But take a look at the apricot blush. Let me show you this. And keep in mind, I did this um, Monday night, and it's it's been not quite 48 hours. Today is Wednesday, and it's evening. And look at these seeds. They are bursting with little sprouts. There's one here that has like its first little seedling leaf. This one here. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Isn't that cute? So I thought I would take these outside. These need to be put in soil now, um, especially since their little leaves are poking out. Um, they need to be put in soil. So I thought I would take you out on the patio and sit with you while I go ahead and pot these seeds up. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Well, we're, we will be outside um, at the patio table where I do all my seeding. So I'll be back with you shortly. All right, so we're out on the patio here. I have a big bag of potting soil. Um, it's a seed starting soil here next to me. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my tray and uh, I'm just gonna fill it up with some dry soil. I'll water it um, in from beneath um, so not to have too heavy of a soil when I plant these little seedlings. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this tray here. In the background, you should be hearing our fountain. We have a pond that has a waterfall in it. Um, it's kind of a rustic um, pond. Maybe I'll show you a little video clip of it here later. So I'm just gonna get some soil in here. It's so pretty out on the patio right now. It's about Oh, I don't know, 6.30 in the evening, and um, the birds are chirping, and obviously the water fountain is going. Maybe you can hear the little chickadees singing. He says, 
Oh, that was the pheasant. <laughs> the little male chickadee says, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. I hear my chickens in the background. There's some robins down in the front yard pulling worms. Very, very busy outside right now. I'm just lightly pressing down the soil here to make sure there's not any big air gaps. And there's the train. <laughs> All kinds of activity out here. All right, so I've got a little swizzle stick here. Um, it's just a plastic stick that has a nice little rounded end. I've got my plate of apricot zinnias. Let's take a look. I'm just going to put this little tag right up here in my seed tray. There might be some of these I need to leave on my tray here. Look at them. So fun. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to pick up each seedling that's ready to be planted and put it in one of the little seed tray holes. Very carefully not to damage the root. Some of them will need to be planted a little bit deeper than others. Isn't that cute? Hello, little one. I'm just going to put that root facing down and cover it up. This one sprouted completely out of its seed shell. Hmm. Gonna have to tear the paper towel and plant it with the paper towel. I think um, I think I read uh, somewhere that coffee filters might be better for this process, um, since the seeds won't grow into the fibers of the coffee filter. I think I'll try that because see, I'm gonna have to plant this one because it grew through the paper there. make a slightly bigger hole and sit that little one down in there. Since her leaves have come up already, I'll leave those up. And that paper towel should break down over time, hopefully. There we go. I'm excited. These plants didn't do well for me last year. I wonder if I just had a bad seed packet or something, but I couldn't get him to germinate last year. So, um, I have a subscriber named Sue. She was commenting um, when I was lamenting my issues with these seeds that her dad used to um, sprout his seeds like this, I think on their water heater. He would use them, um, spread them out like this. And um, I said, Sue, you had a very smart father. That one came right out. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. The sun is so bright. It's really hard to see what you can see. I'll just keep planting along here. See how great this little swizzle stick is. I use it when I'm planting seeds too. Um, it works great. Something big in here. Oh. 
So now that I know at least the seeds are good, maybe I can get these little seedlings to grow and get some beautiful um, coral blush zinnias this summer. These will take a while to flower. They'll be flowering maybe in end of June, maybe in July. I can't, I can't recall, but it'll be a while. Look at that. These babies are ready. And I'm just lightly tamping the soil there around them. I'm gonna have a, oops, that one's upside down. I'm gonna have a whole seed tray of these things for sure. Upside down again. Well, come on. There we go. So I think I'll just keep moving on. Just gonna plant that one with its little piece of uh, tissue as well. Goodness. That's the wild pheasant that we have down there. It just hangs out by the chicken coop. some of these layers here. I'm just going to plant this one with its little paper disc as well. Here's a seed that hasn't sprouted yet. Oh, actually it has. On the very, very tip, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. On the very, very tip, there's a little spot of green coming out. I'm gonna plant this one. Gotta let him have a chance to be successful. Let's put some more soil in there. See how it grew right through that? There we go. Oh, weird. This one this one has two roots coming out of it. See that? Definitely want to see if that one will be successful. <gasps> I don't know if you heard that, but that was a hummingbird. I got to get the feeders out. Hi, baby. Back, I had heard they were over in the valley and up on the south hill, but I had not seen one here yet. I'll have to make note of the date. I always make note of the date. Last year it was, um, it was the twentieth. What's to, what is the date today? Today's the twenty-first. So I bet they were here yesterday too. But first time seeing it is what counts. That was probably a calliope. They are our most, seem to be our most common um, bird. They are a very small species of hummingbird. We also get the rufus, which is the golden one. That kind of, he looks kind of like a copper penny and he's real feisty. Um, we get some ringneck hummingbirds. Looks like I only have um, one seed that has not germinated yet. Just the one. So I think I will go ahead and, and poke him down in the soil. I'm going to poke him down with the point, um, with the point facing down. And um, that's where his root will come out. And that actually finishes an entire row here. 
So I have four open cells right down here at the end. I do have some more seeds. Um, I also have more seeds um, of different varieties, of course, that I need to get in the soil as well. Um, but I think I'm gonna let this tray remain as um, a full tray of apricot blush zinnias. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. That way I'll be able to show you how these do now that we've um, gone through this whole process together. So I'll go ahead and get you an update um, as these uh, little seedlings grow. And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I'm going to give you a little shot of our pond here in, in a moment. Thanks again so um, for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.